Well, what in tarnation do we have today? To pay a little tribute to Demolition Ranch, he likes to remote fire weapons. I got asked in one of the comments, what happens if you fire a handgun or any gun at point blank range against Kevlar? Some thought maybe the muzzle blast would be hot enough to melt the Kevlar and cause a pass through. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but you know, if you hear it on the internet, it must be true. So our setup today, we've got some AR-500 armor level 3A hybrid, soft body armor. We have our clay briefcase. We have a Smith & Wesson MMP with a 4.95 inch barrel secured in our vise. We have some bailing twine here coming to a remote firing location back here behind this barrier for me. I have a 124 grain Winchester 9mm NATO that we will load and then fire at this body armor. So let's get set up. Alright, we're set up. Let's grab my string. We're maybe a quarter inch off the front of the body armor. Well, there's our hole. You can see all the uh, unburnt powder on the nylon cover of that. I can feel a bullet in there. I don't think it passed through. Let's take the strap off and see how much back face there is. So there's our back face right there. It actually ended up measuring 10.28 millimeters. Definitely well within the specifications of 44 millimeters. That's the maximum that NIJ specifies for back face. So if you were wearing level 3A body armor and you took a point blank shot with a 9 millimeter pistol, it's going to leave a bruise, but if you got quality armor, it's going to stop it. Thanks again everybody for watching. Until next time.